Alrighty, yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Mr. DDG94 back with another reaction video. Today we're gonna react to The Night Mayweather Humiliated Gotti. I remember this. <sighs> I remember this. This is some this is some this this some good old boxing right here, boy. This is money Mayweather on top of that too. This was when he was knocking niggas the fuck out, bruh. Without further ado, let's get right into this money Mayweather. Listen. No, this I'm, I'm sorry, not Money Mayweather, but Pretty Boy Floyd. This is when he was Pretty Boy Floyd, and he was knocking motherfuckers out left and right, man. Hell yeah, Pretty Boy Floyd was, oh man, good old days, man. The year is 2005. Pretty Boy Floyd Mayweather has been making a name for himself, taking belts across multiple weight divisions with a record of 33, zero. After winning the WBC lightweight title, well, some of the guys I beat, they mentally, they mentally messed up to this day. He looks to fight Arturo Gatti for the WBC super lightweight title. Gatti is an extremely loved fighter with an even more respected style and resume. I'd like to make this fight go 12 rounds and beat the living shit out of him. The heat has been rising for Floyd for many fights, and now it's burning to a simmer. Is it too hot for Floyd to stay in the kitchen, or will it feel like just another dip in the ice bath for the undefeated champ? Welcome back to Boxing After Dark, where today we look at a pivotal moment in the careers of both Money Mayweather and the late great Arturo Gatti. Let's get into it. Mayweather until now has been far from silent, slowly but surely racking up respectable wins against the likes of Jesus Chavez, Jose Luis Costillo, and Diego Corrales. We destroyed Diego Corrales. We destroyed. He is just completely dominated. After dominating the flyweight division and lightweight division for 10 years, it looked like it was time to go to the super lightweight division and beyond, with his first opponent being Arturo Gatti, a boxer known to be an entertainer above all, taking any opportunity he can for an exciting brawl. Floyd had fought many different types of boxers, big fighters, small fighters, southpaws, drunken masters, but never had he fought someone like Arturo Gatti, a man who values the entertainment of a fight over the result. But the scary thing about Gatti that Floyd knew better than most is Arturo can play the game of boxing when he felt like it. When fighting in what many regard as the greatest boxing trilogy of all time in Gatti, Ward, we saw the full scope of what he could achieve. He could brawl, he could be calculated, he could fight like a genius on a dime, especially since Buddy McGirt had come under his wing, and that's what he wanted to do against Floyd. This fight wasn't going to be a show for the fans to enjoy, it was going to be a legitimate boxing match with a victor and a loser. It's thunder versus lightning, and we all know thunder make noise, but lightning strikes. The build-up to the fight, although not friendly, was entertaining and never went too far. Both were extremely confident, exerting how they'd beat the other, and how much lower in skill they believed their opponent to be. Floyd criticised Gatti, and proclaimed him to be a C-plus level fighter at best, whilst Gatti insisted that Mayweather needed to be knocked down a couple of pegs, and that he was just the man to do the job. He's a C-plus fighter, I'm an A-plus fighter. Come Saturday night next week, all the fans tune in because I'm a dominate. Despite Gatti being more accustomed to the heavier weight class and being the title holder of super lightweight, it was clear that Mayweather was at least on the same level, if not higher than Arturo, with Mayweather being the favorite leading up to the fight. Despite Gatti's undeniable talent, it was apparent he had mistakes in him. Despite these mistakes slowly diminishing with Buddy McGirt as his trainer, he still wasn't a perfect fighter. His biggest strength was his adaptability, tailoring himself to counter whichever fighter he was up against despite their different styles. And on the front foot, you'd be hard pressed to find someone with more courage and heart. Mayweather was also infamously great at countering opponents, but used far less risk. Not afraid to take his win on points, he would casually outbox whichever opponent he'd faced until this point, without ever exposing himself to the risk of getting knocked out. He's so quick with his head and shoulders, and he's standing right in front of you, and you can't hit him. On the 25th of June, 2005, Thunder vs. Lightning finally came, and despite Mayweather being the heavy favourite, the crowd were not afraid to vouch for their champ, Arturo Gatti. Whilst Floyd came out in extravagant fashion to Queens, another one bites the dust, carried by ancient Roman soldiers. Gatti confidently, yet humbly entered, with the riveting thunderstruck by ACDC. With the gamblers banking on Mayweather and the crowd hopeful of Gatti, it was clear that no matter who won tonight, the response was going to be wild. If he is, 
In his last fight against James Leha, Arturo Gatti was throwing more than 40 jabs per round. The lucidness and very solid with that straight right hand. Mayweather allowing himself to be taken to the rope. Good left hand by Gatti early to make the point to Floyd. And Floyd hits Arturo with a left hand on the break. And now there's a knockdown. And keep your head up. Keep your head up. Got to protect yourself at all times. As Mayweather holds down Gatti's head and lands a cheap blow to the top of the skull, Gatti looks to the referee for the fight to be broken up. Mayweather takes advantage of Arturo's lack of focus and drops Gatti down to one knee with a powerful left hook. Floyd obtains the first knockdown of the fight. Gatti got nowhere near Mayweather's body in round one. At this pace, I think, is that this pace is Mayweather. Takes some risks when he gets inside. Three to Arturo's one when they get in close. You know, people didn't understand that. There's a body shot. Right hand is solid. Combinations by Mayweather. First work for, switch to loyalty. And he's done great work for Hughes left hook. Arturo hasn't really landed anything big in the first two rounds. It's been a landslide for Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather's speed continues to wreak havoc, giving Gatti no space to breathe, landing heavy combinations quickly and efficiently. Floyd begins to dominate the fight. Mayweather 27 out of 47. If it was an election, they'd project the winner right now. Inflicted that much damage. Let his head, bro. Let his head, bro. Hey! Bring it well, he, got a, he got in a good low blow, and he may need it. But surely he ex... Arturo Gatti's right ah. eye Stop. is swelling Stop. badly. First three rounds, there's a vicious right hand over the top. Gatti's face begins to swell as Mayweather persists in throwing speedy jabs and clean hooks. Arturo lands next to nothing, and it becomes obvious his game plan for the fight isn't working. Let's go. Well, you saw the overwhelming copy box. Gatti objected to the fact that Floyd Griffin hit him. Three to so my view. Yeah, that's because he's fans on him. Gatti yet, but the nut hard. He has tremendous height. Gatti fails to land anything of substantial damage whilst getting mercilessly outboxed. Mayweather refuses to ease up on pressure, landing combinations before Gatti can begin to blink. I don't know when I've seen more one-sided copy box numbers. Mayweather 32 out of 60 in that round. Gatti 5 out of 37. There Gatti gets in a left to the bottom. Pep had a great deal of... Has a chance to see some where they came. Great hand by Mayweather. Twist gets just missed for Gatti. Ah! Just five and six punch combinations at a time. Gatti has landed eight and broken in the past. Little Brand, he breaks his right hand. Moving in. Too much. Too much hands. Oh, by the shot. By the shot. Hurt, 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 hurt. This is humiliating. This shit sad. This shit was sad to watch. Floyd was whooping this nigga ass. They should have threw the towel in at this point. Yeah. Oh my goodness. They should have been through the towel in. They should have been through the towel in. After another round of Gatti unable to land a punch, he retires in the corner, making Mayweather the victor of the fight. After the first round, it they was clear the direction been, the fight was headed in. They should have stopped that after round three, the really, Gatti. realistically. His heart was big, but his brain was bigger, knowing that pulling out of the fight was the right move before any more damage could be done. Mayweather showcases what he can do in his prime, beating a very respectable opponent, which he confirms himself during the post-fight, exclaiming how everything negative he said about Gatti in the pre-fight was purely dramatized to make the fight more entertaining. He then looks forward in hopes of fighting a prime Ricky Hatton, wanting to further his undefeated record and obtaining more belts along the way. Gatti is humble and respectful in defeat and admits that Mayweather was too fast for him and that he performed to the best of his ability, being pulled out at the right time so that he can continue his boxing career, hoping to move up in weight and fight for a new title in the welterweight division. Floyd is a quick, very, very fast fighter. I, I didn't expect him to be that quick. You know, everybody told me he has fast hands, but he's also fast with the upper body.
Yeah, they they should they should have took him. They should have took him out. They should have took him out after the third round. That shit was terrible, bro. After the third round, they should have been said, you know what? We're going to stop the fight right here. You, you ain't doing shit, man. For real. 